Viktor Yanukovych is a controversial figure and former president of Ukraine who was ousted from the country in 2014. He took refuge in Russia after he was found guilty of treason by a Ukrainian court. Now, eight years later, Russia may declare him as the president of Ukraine once again. From 2006 to 2007, he was the Prime Minister. He also served in this post from 2002 in November to January 2005, with a short interruption in December 2004. Viktor Yanukovych was elected as the fourth president of Ukraine in 2010 and he remained in office until the Maiden Revolution. He was always a controversial figure in Ukraine as he opposed Ukraine's ties with the European Union and always favoured Russia instead. In 2013, he made headlines when a violent protest sparked because of his increasing alignment with Russia. Viktor Yanukovych's refusal to sign a political and trade agreement with the European Union in 2013 sparked violent protests in the country. A Ukrainian court has found Viktor Yanukovych guilty in 2014 for treason for his efforts to crush the 2014 pro-Western demonstrations. Yanukovych was also charged with asking Vladimir Putin to send Russian troops to invade Ukraine. Eventually, Yanukovych fled Ukraine, taking refuge in Russia and annexing Crimea months after Yanukovych fled. Being the president of Ukraine, Yanukovych led a luxurious lifestyle. He lived in the capital city of Ukraine, in Kyiv. People weren't allowed to be in his lavish palace. When he fled Ukraine in 2014, many people gathered outside his palace to see it. His palace has a golf course. The wash basin and toilet seats are made of gold. Ukrainians believed Yanukovych was corrupt. Due to this, his luxurious palace is called Museum of Corruption. His proximity to the Kremlin, coupled with his previous tenure as a democratically elected president of Ukraine, makes him a viable candidate for Putin, who Western officials believe wants to overthrow the elected government in Kyiv and install a puppet government in its place. This is being viewed in the context of Russia's efforts to redraw the map of Europe and revive Moscow's Cold War era influence. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today Newsmo.